Hi, this is Angela. I got a great idea for you to do in clinical lab. You can do this in fundamentals, med surg, IV therapy, basic farm. It is gonna be called, what's wrong with this room? So you're gonna have a lab area that you set up. It can be as simple as you want or complex depending on the level of the students. I made a chart. I have all this available under my Google Drive. If you like and subscribe, patients chart with orders. Okay. They have labs, blood consent. Then when we go over to the patient, I usually have the students in a group of anywhere from three to five students. They have a set time limit, anywhere from five to 10 minutes to assess the patient. They look at the chart, then they're coming to see, I wanna see, are they paying attention? For example, the ID van, date of birth is different, same last name and first name. The patient's labs for this patient had a different lab name and patient and date of birth. So we're giving the patient blood so we're basing it on somebody else's labs that they needed a blood transfusion and not our current patient. We can have that the blood bags expired. It could be the wrong type, the wrong IV fluid hanging with blood, tubing was expired, needed to be changed. We have one where we have insulin hanging and it's not on a pump at all. Our heparin bags totally empty, not on an IV pump. IV site could be expired. We have multiple nitroglycerin patches on our patient. Here we have a nosebleed. We don't have the oxygen on correctly. Side rails not up times two. You can leave your patient on a bedpan underneath to see if the students noticed. Put signs like NPO and have food right here on a bedside table to see if the students noticed that. Um, we've even had uh, sores on their feet to see if the students actually took off the patient's socks and found those errors. So I do about maybe anywhere from 10 to 15 errors to see if the students can find out what's wrong. And it's very fun. They love it. It's a great way for you to see, are they putting it all together? I hope that helps. So this was a great clinical lab idea. Check back for more and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.